this example, another one about the grating. Okay, so this time we emit a true like source. Okay, we have given the uh, wavelength here, and then we also have the grating is uh, 2500 lines per cm. Okay, so it's found the uh, angle of the first order bright fringe, that means our theta 1. In this part, we don't need the equation, the special equation, because we have the vertical distance and the horizontal distance, so we can use the tangent to solve it. Okay, so make sure when you do this kind of question, you should aware that besides the d sine theta equal n lambda, we can also use the tangent, okay, to solve the problem geometrically. And what is the track here is the cm, so you have to change it to 0 0.01 meter, okay, in order to solve the problem. Okay, so I think this part is quite straightforward, so I don't go through it in very details. And the uh, other one, okay, it's the maximum order of the bright fringe that can observe on the screen. Do you remember the maximum order? What's the track here? Yes, it's 90 degree. Okay, so the n and then times the lambda, so we can get the n here. Then what is the maximum order? Yes, it is 8. Because 90 degree is set the margin for us, so it won't reach 9th order. So the maximum order is 8 only, even is 8.89. And if you get the idea, so we know that the number of bright fringe we can observe is 8 plus the same, the zero of order plus 8. So it is 70 in total. If you miss this out, you can check back to the previous video about this uh, part. And estimate the distance between the first order and the second order. Okay, so we said mark that there. Is it 17? No. Because this is not a double slit. So the distance between two successive order is not a constant. Okay, actually is increasing. Okay, when the order is increased. So if the question asking us something like that, what we can do, we have to find the y2, the distance between the second order to the center, minus the y1, the distance between the first order to the center. Or so this is the only way for us to find that. Okay, so we have to find the y2 first. You can see we have solved it already, and minus the y1 in order to find the distance between two successive order. So this is one characteristic that is special for the grating.